Warnings across parts of Albuquerque, New Mexico, parts of Utah, Las Vegas, and right here even in southern Colorado, where winds will top about 60 to 80 mile an hour gusts as we move through tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. So for really about 11 a.m. tomorrow through about 7 o'clock in the afternoon and evening, our winds will be approaching that damaging wind criteria. So please be mindful of that if you're joining us across our southernmost counties. Alongside with that, heavy snow develops tonight across parts of uh, Pagosa Springs closer to Creed South Fork blizzard conditions with those winds topping 60 to 70 mile an hour gusts alongside with heavy snow. It's going to create those whiteout conditions. High country travel should be absolutely avoided at least through about Thursday night or Friday morning. We are expecting snow here across the Pikes Peak region. A general two to five inches around El Paso County with zones closer to three to six. We were calling for this yesterday uh, because you know, we started to see on the models that we were going to have a, a lot of energy pivoting across the state into the afternoon that could enhance those snowfall estimates. Uh, so now the models, all the models are starting to pick up on it. Notice that most of the mountain snow uh, stays across parts of northwestern Colorado overnight tonight. Uh, we do start to get snow showers arriving as early as about six, seven o'clock tomorrow morning across parts of the Denver area. Uh, do you think the models kind of struggling to pick up on that cold front coming in and some of those snow showers starting up? But we do know there's going to be a rather intense burst of snow between about noon and 5 p.m. tomorrow across parts of El Paso County and areas a little bit closer to the Palmer Divide and Teller County. That is what we were concerned about yesterday uh, that it looks like it's going to be be a, a very high probability at this point. When you get these intense bursts of snow, even though they're brief, they can put down a good three to four inches in about an hour. Uh, because of that, it can cause some traffic impacts and it can allow a lot of people to feel very caught off guard. You know, we had this happen last year around a similar time frame, and uh, we had a lot of accidents out on the road. So you have to be very careful with these events as you get into February and March and closer to the springtime and you have more daytime heating, more dynamics to work with. Uh, these setups, even though it's overall going to be a fairly minor event, Brief periods of heavy snow and blowing snow can cause issues around metropolitan areas. So that's what we want to really just keep you up to date on. We will start to clear out as we move through the overnight hours Wednesday into Thursday morning with lingering snow across the high country. Here's a look at that future cast of snow two to four in downtown Colorado Springs. But now you can see that zone of heavier snow is starting to make that comeback because it's picking up on that energy coming through the state into the afternoon hours. Now, Latest forecast models show that's going to come between about 11 a.m. and about 4 to 5 a.m. 4, 4 to 5 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. I, I do think some of this could hold off into the afternoon hours, but we get this zone of 3 to 6 pretty quickly. It's going to be intense, but it won't hang around very long. So if you can kind of avoid travel right here through I-25 into the early afternoon time frame, I certainly think it's best to do so, especially if you feel a little uncomfortable driving in the snow. Temperatures will start to recover back into the 40s and near 50 degrees by the weekend for monuments, but it is going to be blustery. It's going to be cold. We're going to have wind chill readings in the teens tomorrow. Wish I could have shown you more on that, but we're so pressed for time. We've got to get in the most important components of the storm, but it is going to be a very cold and blustery day with gusts close to about 30 miles per hour, certainly making it feel a lot colder out there than 38 degrees for Colorado Springs. But we do make a full comeback with temperatures rebounding back into the 50s by the weekends. We are looking at cold conditions in Pueblo with a light round of snow, general one to three there for Pueblo County, and then we're back up into the 40s and closer to those seasonal averages by the end of the work week and into the upcoming weekend. Canyon City trace close to about two inches there in Fremont County. Not a lot of snow for the Canyon City area, but we do make a nice recovery with temperatures back in the 50s by Saturday. Back to you. Those 50s wow. will feel great. Yeah, yeah. Mary, thanks. Tucker.